moving swiftly on to the discussion of the attitude of gratitude towards his creation. Once, Imam Zainul Abideen salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi states, and he is being narrated from Ammar al-Duhni. Ammar al-Duhni narrates that I heard Imam Sajjad say, surely Allah loves every sad heart and every grateful servant. God Almighty will ask each servant on the day of judgment, did you thank me? So an individual will say, of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I thank you. And that time Imam Sajjad says, God will respond to individuals to his creation, no, you have not thanked me. The individual will turn around, of course I thank you. Allah will turn around and say, if you have not thanked so and so individual, it means you have not thanked me. And then Ammar al-Duhni continues. He says, the Imam says, the most thankful of you before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who thanks the people. It is so important for us to thank the people because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reject our thanks to Allah if we don't thank his creatures, his beloved creation, his beloved people. So after having established that we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though we are incapable of thanking him, we then need to thank his people. For example, we need to thank the prophets and the a'imma who have persevered so much in their lives to have, re to have given us this beautiful religion intact with the way it has received by us. We need to thank the prophets, the a'immas. We need to thank, for example, our parents who have sacrificed their nights, their mornings, their years, their youthful years for us so that they could care us, so that they could advise us. We need, have we thanked our parents enough? We need to ask that ourselves, myself first and then yourself. We need to ask ourselves, how much have our teachers done for us who have sacrificed their life, their hours in teaching us and in doing so they have sacrificed their time in trying to get light in our hearts. Have we thanked our teachers? When was the last time we thanked our teachers? We have been blessed with brothers, sisters, siblings, cousins, whom we share life so many joyous occasions with. Be it happy occasions, be it sad occasions. When was the last time that we thanked our brothers, sisters and cousins? We have been blessed with so many friends, so many individuals that we have a connection with. Without whom life would be so boring. When was the last time that we sent them a text message? When was the last time that we sent them a card? When was the last time that we thanked our individuals? And one of the most important people that I feel may, we may be neglecting is our community members. Alhamdulillah, we have been blessed with such a beautiful community with amazing members through which we find a sense of belonging to, right? If we were to die, if there is a birth in our community, we share each other's joyous occasions and sad occasions. When was the last time that we thanked that individual? Thank you for being part of my community. Thank you for being part of my life. One of the more important people that I feel we may be forgetting are the volunteers. Volunteers who may be working in the background, who may be working from the first hour the mosque is open to the last second the mosque is closed. From those individuals working in the AV room for those individuals working in the kitchen. Those individuals that we may not even be seeing. Those individuals that would be preparing tabarruk, niyaz of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Those individuals that would be spending hours in meetings in discussing on how to run this program smoothly. Those individuals who might even be picking one piece of thing from the mosque in making sure our mosque is in such a clean state. When was the last time that we thanked those volunteers? And today on the night of Ashura, I would like to take this opportunity from this member to thank each and every one of you as members, but more importantly, thank our volunteers who have dedicated so many timeless hours, seconds and moments out of their precious life for us, for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No doubt, their reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we need to make sure that we reciprocate their dedication, their energy, their thoughts with at least words of gratefulness. Volunteers are not paid, not because they are worthless, but because they are priceless. And you can never put a price tag with their intentions.